Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on All-Star Superman Issue 2. Now, let's get on with the review. Now, the story starts off how Lois is, seems to be in her car, who's saying that he, that, that he now knows Superman is Clark Kent, thanks to Clark Kent telling him. At the same time, Superman is lifting her, her car to his Fort of Solitude. Now, how is he even able to do this? I mean... Just holding it by two hands wouldn't be difficult. I mean, it does seem that way. So they make it to the Fortress of Solitude, where Lois gets out, where Clark follows her. I mean, him. And Superman explains that he had a new key for the Fortress of Solitude, a much smaller one that's more heavier. So the robots prepare to fix Lois's car. At the same time, Clark explains how, you know, how simple this key is since it's a much more smaller one. And so you have Superman in his Fortress of Solitude with all of his stuff, like the Bottle City of Candle, the, the Joker Penny, a chessboard with Batman, Superman, Lex Luthor, Brainiac. At the same time, Lois is taking a shower, gets on a dress, and Clark explains that he picked these for her singing flowers. At the same time, Clark shows Lois the um, weapons he has. Great guy! And he also introduces like some of his ancestors, like the Cal Kent, the smell of steel of tomorrow. And this pretty much like he explains that the Fortitude isn't just a museum, it's a time capsule. At the same time, Lois is interested by the sunny air, where Superman gives it solar energy. And where... And where Lois is about to have a peek, but, tells, but Superman tells him not to go in there. And at the same time, in an old ship, Clark Kent and Lois are having a talk about how all the times he's managed to do these things. Like, how he was able to have... Batman poses him, and you know how he had a robot duplicate for Superman to be there, and Clark Kent, all that stuff. At the same time, Lois is typing away while Clark Kent is thinking to himself of what's going to happen to him once he's gone. And Lois is pretty much typing away. Superman is left wondering where well, Lois becomes paranoid and delusional. She pretty much goes in, gets a gun, where she's about to meet a Superman from a different century. And one of the robots come in, where Lois gets a gun, prepares herself, and is about to fire. But it turns out the Kryptonite has no effect on him now, due to the solar energy of the sun. At the same time, Superman explains that it was mainly a birthday gift for her, that he was making a costume and a potion that will give her 24 hours superpowers. And that's the review. Now, the issue is pretty good. Because it shows that Superman wants to be there for Lois, using the last days he has as a way of saying, I want to be there with you, I want to do this for you. So at the same time, I do feel this is a good issue, so I give this a thumbs up. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.